is going on? It's been a hot minute. I've been super busy. I had a long work turnaround, which pretty much means um, I'm at work every day for about three to four weeks. Stop whining. So that's kind of like my excuse. Not that I want to make an excuse, but not really able to make content since a few weeks ago, I went out to Cecil to test out the CTSV to see what it'll run. It did okay, it didn't do bad. Uh, kind of what I expected trap speed wise. My 60 foot wasn't there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was kind of going off of like 2,000, 2,500 RPMs. When it seems like off idle is the best way to do it with the V3. But since then, we have got in some parts and I am ready to start turning this thing up a little half of a notch. Okay, let's go. Because this isn't like no crazy, ridiculous mega power mods, no bigger blower or build motor or nothing like that. This is kind of just like a little, a little help, if you will. So without further ado, you can see right there, we got the LMP stamp of approval. LMP, these guys are crushing the LT4 game right now with all the fastest ones on the East Coast. Uh, maybe in the whole country as far as I know. Um, this is just a box of bolts, literally. But we went ahead and ordered ourselves this mammoth sized LMP heat exchanger for the supercharger coolant loop. Thankfully, these guys were able to get this done extremely fast. My buddy Tom actually is friends with the owner and was able to run down there when I was at work and take care of the transaction and get me this piece that was literally just made. So shout out to Tom, shout out to LMP. You guys are the best. This thing looks incredible. I can't wait to put it on and see how we improve. Also, I got a little bit of a, a DSX package here. Um, this is nothing crazy. It's literally just a bigger lid for the supercharger. So if you know anything about the CTS V3, the lid is pathetic. I mean, it's legitimately this thick. You're really pushing no air through it. So this thing will do a lot better job. The reason I'm not showing it to you yet is because this is kind of my birthday present to myself. I guess these, these parts, my birthday is coming up. And actually, by the time you watch this video, my birthday will probably already be passed. But as of right now, my birthday is coming up. This is the lid. I'm getting ready to take it to Mako Metals in Glen Mills to get powder coated. So I'm kind of giving you guys an opportunity to tell me what color you think I should go with. Power wise, this might help a little bit because I'll be pushing a little bit more air. So I will need a tune, unfortunately. This is strictly just for cooling. For right now, just put in the comments what you think I should go with. Not just for just this uh, lid, but color wise is like a theme. So I need to start doing a little bit of things here and there just to spruce it up, make it pretty, you know, maybe change a few other things under the hood to this color, or maybe a few things externally like brake calipers or, you know, like some grill bezel, whatever. I don't know, whatever, whatever you can come up with. Let me know in the comments what color you think I should go with. And by the time this is done, maybe, maybe not. I will have looked at it. I don't know. Just kind of shooting off of the, the hip right now, but just had to do an intro, so there you go. There's your intro. Let's let's get into it. Sorry! All right, so just like that, we are on our way to Mako Metals. Um, they're in Glen Mills. They're kind of like the local premier powder coating metal guys. But nah, Mako's great. They do all like the uh, they do all the powder coating for like Kong Performance. Uh, he was telling me he was just doing a bunch of stuff for County Corvette. I know he does stuff for Evolution Performance. So all like the heavy hitter local guys. I mean. They're trusting them with it. I trust them with it. I've actually known the, the family for quite a, quite a long time. So we're on our way there. Again, we got the parts right here. Hurry up, hurry up and comment what you think this color should be because you don't have much time. You don't have much time. I might, uh, I might leave it sit with him for a day or two to, to determine what color I wanna go with or I might just, you know, shoot from the hip. Maybe I get lucky and match with uh, what most of you guys are voting for, but we're gonna put that in the booth, get it sprayed, get it heated, get it melted, and then we're gonna be on our way to installing some stuff. I'm also stopping by Jack's house tonight because he got me a birthday present, so I'm anxious to see what that is. Cool dude, man. You know, cool dude. Sometimes, maybe, very few times. But, you know, whatever. Bye-bye. All right, so I just left Mako Metals in the shop truck, baby. Big blue F-150. And honestly, if you didn't know that he existed, if he if his place was there, you would never be able to find it. So 
I'm gonna share his information for social media down below. That way, if you have anything, if you're in the tri-state area, if you're in Delco specifically, and you need something powder coated, you will be able to contact him and find the place and, and figure everything out. But now, Mako's got a pretty cool setup. He's a very cool dude, knowledgeable and everything. He's got some samples you can check out. And he said one to two day turnaround. So I don't know if that's just because he doesn't have too much going on right now. I know he just finished a few big orders, so maybe I just got in at the, the perfect time, but that sounds pretty good to me and the prices are competitive so i mean you can't go wrong he is official and he stands behind his product so shout out to make a metal for getting this done for me real quick so for those of you that are unaware the most important day of the year is coming up this sunday most important day of the year may 28th is my birthday and my boy jack just hooked me up we kind of i don't know I don't really do this for any other friends, but me and Jack kind of always try to hook each other up when it comes to like, uh, I don't know, birthdays and like maybe other holidays. I don't know. It's kind of, might be a little suspect, but you know, <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a solid friendship. So I'm here to show you what Jack got me today. And my birthday's not even until Sunday, so who knows what else is coming from Jack, you know what I mean? There might be some more. <laughs> Yo, so the Paul Walker R34 GTR Lego Skyline, which is major, which by the way, we should probably go see Fast 10. Fast X. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. He got me a, I don't know why I need this or why he had it or where it came from, but we now have a waterproof notebook I didn't even know that existed. And the main attraction. Channel stickers, baby. Channel stickers. What a thoughtful gift. Look at those puppies. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be slapping these puppies on everything that has to do with cars. Whether it be parts, cars, or fucking, I don't know, I'm putting it on everything. Putting it on everything. I put that on everything. <laughs> So while I'm at Jack's house, he is doing a little bit of modifications himself. Unfortunately, they're not the, you know, the big power modifications that we were hoping he was going to do to chase that nine second pass. <laughs> but he's just doing a little bit of cleanup and uh, some, you know, function stuff or form stuff to make it look good. So all this chrome's coming off and I guess he's wrapping it in black or painting it or what, what's going on here? Paint it's getting paint matched. So he's doing the back chrome bar and he's doing the grill surround up here. Are you doing the grill's gonna be stay chrome, right? Yeah, so, so it's this be the piece bezel right here, off. it's already um plasti dipped. Yeah, there's a piece here that was plasti dipped, yeah. and on the bottom grill, it was pla it is plasti dipped. Gotcha. gotcha. Uh, I had an extra set, I'm gonna get them paint matched, and then uh, I bought a bear grill. Ooh, bear grills, bear grills. So is this going on the back? That's actually gonna go on the back, yeah, and then the front one is on the table over here. Oh, shit. oh yes, oh. look at that puppy. So trying yeah, to get rid of dog. the old, uh, the old fashioned, you know, it looks good, you know, Cadillac badge, but you could tell it's aged, especially with the wreath around it, you know what I mean? So we're doing the updated, what is this, an ATS badge? That one is the back. That's a ATS with CTS. It's the ATS rear, yeah. So this is an ATS rear. So it's a newer updated badge. It kind of looks similar, but it just gives you that little bit, just a little bit of a difference, dude. And it's gonna make a huge difference, I think. This is the one that I think looks super like outdated kinda. Yeah. So with that updated, that'll look that'll look interesting. My question is, does the wreath have to stay on there? So it's on. Um, so it doesn't have the indents for this? Correct, yeah. I gotta okay. figure out a way to make it stick, but um yeah. That's cool. Because you could tell like this is definitely indented for yes. that wreath. Mako said a day or two for my for my uh, Johnson to be done pack being powder coated. And then I think we're probably just gonna have to pick a day to put it on and kind of see what we gain. Um, if you're knowledgeable with adding a bigger lid, let me know if you need to do a retune because scientifically thinking about it, there's gonna be more air passing through to do more cooling. That's kind of the whole point of getting a bigger lid. So to me, that thinks that I should have more fuel and I kind of don't have the ability to do more fuel. So, uh, I don't know, we might be in a pickle. But I might be completely overthinking this and it might not be that big of a deal and I could just bolt it on and rip. But uh, I'm not positive, so. You know, 
know, give me your uh, give me your idea on that because I have no idea. So until tomorrow, I guess uh, we'll end it here, and uh, hopefully I'll be grabbing that today or tomorrow, and then um, depending on whether I need a tune or not. Depends on whether I need a tune or not. Bye.